All right. Shalom, shalom. We are the real Hebrew Israelites coming day in and day out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon the Great. First off and foremost, I would like to say, call Haloyim Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, or Kar Kadash. All right. Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect where you may be. Salak al al Yahweh Kasha, Yahweh Shai, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, and that's me praying for the spirit of Yahweh Shai. And uh, hey, I pray and hope that this lesson is edifying. And what I'm going to get into today is basically um, dealing with this knowledge as far as how much uh, to eat. Because what brothers will find themselves in, especially when you wake up, you're hot. You're real hot, man. You want to go two million miles a second. You want to get this. You want to know that. You want to know deep breakdowns of... Ezekiel and things of that nature, right? But there's a balance to that. There's moderation in all things. So how much more when it comes to this truth? Because sometimes you can't die. Not to say don't dive all the way into the truth. Yes, dive all the way into the truth. But you just can't take the Bible and eat it in one day. You'll choke. You'll die. I'm, and I'm being dead ass, man. We, we've seen it. So I'm going to read this Proverbs 24 and 13. My son, eat thou honey because it is good in the honeycomb, which is sweet in thy taste. Okay? So shall knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul. So that's the representation. All right? This, this wisdom, this wisdom, knowledge, understanding, this truth that we have from Yahweh Bashem Shai is like honey. Okay? To our souls, right? When thou hast found it, then shall uh, select it. When thou hast found it, then there should be a reward, and thy expectation should not be cut off. Because when you get honey, I think of Jonathan, you know, after that battle and hunger and stuff, they ate that honey. Do you know how good that must have been to uh, his body, his soul, since his eyes was enlightened? All right? So, hey, this truth, this knowledge is good to have. Now, here's the balance part about it. Just like a, a good balanced breakfast, all right? You have to have, uh, when you read that nutritious um, label, all right? It, it shows you what is, what's in it, what's that, what's this, all right? So there's a balance to it, man. Same with this truth. Proverbs 25 and 16. Has thou found honey? Eat so much as is sufficient for thee. So every brother can't handle uh, as much as the next brother. As far as eating, every brother can't digest like the next brother could digest. Every brother is not as deep as the next brother. All right. So you, you have to understand that, too. So the Lord says, hey, eat as much that's sufficient for thee. So eat the right amount. Don't go overboard. Don't eat too much and vomit. And that literally happens. We, uh, matter of fact, when you read Sirach, it says if you ate too much, hey, put thy uh, finger down your throat so you can vomit it up. Because you'll feel better. But in this case, if you eat too much of this wisdom, start throwing up, guess what? You're throwing up doctrine, man. You're, you're, you're uh, bringing up perverse, um, <laughs> how you say, per, uh, perverse conduct, man. Perverse conversations, all right? That's what it means by vomit, man. And, and that's a nigga with, who's trying to get and know everything. He want to know this. He want to know that. He want to know this. Guess what? He'll start to throw up, All right? That's our, uh, I believe that's Sirach, the third chapter. It says, seek not out things that's too high for thee, all right? Hey, well, watch. <laughs> hey, man, Jake want to be, how do I say? Jake just want to know everything. And listen, the prophesying part, all the unknowns, hey, we'll get that in the kingdom of heaven. But Jake want to know it now, and hey, it's just too much, man. You, you're going you're gonna to F yourself up, man, all right? And we've seen it. All right, guys going a million miles a second, want to seem like Mr. Deep, uh, a, a, a super Israelite, and burn themselves out, man, and start to go off and start preaching wayward doctrines, okay? So that's what it means by vomit. Yeah, even it says a dog returns to his vomit. So those are those guys, man. So you being young and fresh in the truth, or any brother in the truth, there's a moderation to eating this honey, okay? Proverbs 25 and 27. It is not good to eat much honey. 
Now, in the last scripture, it says, eat is enough that's sufficient for thee. So each brother got a certain level he can intake or digest, all right, at a certain amount of time. All right? Shit, hey, there's some brothers that probably could fly through a book, all right? And the other brother would try to do the same thing and won't retain the same amount of knowledge as he thought he was or start breaking down things the wrong way. Hey, go at the pace that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has given thee, all right? And yes, you're going to grow in the faith. I ain't just telling you to be stagnant. There, there's a balance to everything I'm telling you right now, man. All right? So it says, uh, it is not good to eat much honey. So for men to search their own glory is not glory. All right? So, hey, and that's why a lot of niggas call themselves coming to the truths because they want some type of glory man they think it's a fab or they just want vain glory all right and that's another representation of eating too much honey because guess what knowledge puffeth up that's why it's not good to eat too much honey because you you getting this you're getting that you know and this now you start to feel proud now you start to feel that you did all this on your own all right and you start to think you're so deep that you're coming out with these miraculous ass breakdowns that are really chicken shit. All right, it's really chicken shit. Uh, um, uh, uh, wayward breakdowns, man. So hey, that, that glory ain't glory, man. All right. Now check this out, because hey, like I said, knowledge puffeth up, right? This is, um, it says, and yeah, this is, uh, yeah, Ecclesiastes 12, 12, it says, and further by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end. All right. So you ain't got to be, oh, let me search this up. This, 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 this. No, I'll just deal with what the Lord gave us. All right. Yeah. You can go into other things as in things to help with the truth is proclaiming. But all that other shit, uh, <laughs> chambers and... All right, so lucky I had a phone call. But nonetheless, I'm going to this Ecclesiastes 12 and 12, all right? Going to all these other... Hey, the, uh, the weariness of flesh, right? And like I was saying, how knowledge puffeth, uh, puffeth up, all right? And you trying to study too much, eat too much honey, man. You, you're going to wear yourself down, man. Physically and spiritually, you're going to wear yourself down. And when you get to a low spot in the spirit where you're tired spiritually, you're tired physically, a lot of demons like to creep in during that time, man. And when you eat too much honey and now it's pressing on you and you're feeling all spiritually sick, and you know, going to, you know, what I was talking about earlier, them demons will creep in and try to give you false wisdom. Now you throwing up and you bringing out false doctrines and all types of shit. So you got really you got to be sober minded in this truth. Everything is done in moderation, including eating this honey. All right. Now check this out. Now th th this work that we're doing, this knowledge, this truth, it says uh, wisdom has furnished a table. All right. So we're eating uh, bountiful food, all right, heavenly food from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right now, check this out. If this is Sirach 31 and 12, if thou sit at a bountiful table, which the Lord's table is very bountiful, be not greedy upon it and say not there is much to eat. Now, when you read this chapter, it goes into food and things of that nature, certain moderations. You know, it's a good chapter uh, to read. So, how much more spiritually, right? So, it says, say not there is much meat on it, right? So you just, oh shit, I see it. Let's, like, let's just literally like open up the Bible. Oh, I see front and back, I want it all. I need it all. I gotta get it all. I gotta get it all right now, right today. No, it, it, it don't work like that. All right, yes, we have an unction to know all things. Hey, 100% truth according to what the Lord gave us with these scriptures that we have here today, all right? But guess what? You're not, you ain't gonna get it in one day. So guess what? Sometimes you gotta, all right, let me have a, 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 some peas. All right, uh, pass me the mashed potatoes. Pass me that you don't you don't just get it at one time. All right, it's different. 
and I, and I work in culinary, there's different courses to a dinner, all right? Whether it's your appetizers, soup, then salad, all right? Then your, uh, your entree, dessert, or whatever it may go, man, all right? You don't just all eat it at once. It's different stages to it, man, all right? So same with the Lord. Don't be greedy upon it. Yeah, you have that godly, godly uh, jealousy, brothers. All right? I see brother do something mighty in spirit. I get godly je jealousy. I want to do it. So now I'm working on myself to get better. But guess what? That don't mean just jump Oh, I need to do this. Let me do this. Oh, Malcolm, all in history. Let me just be a history person. Uh, no, we got different lots, too. And like I said, what, uh, what I digest... The next brother probably can't digest. And you know what's another good chapter to read? Romans the 14th chapter. All right? The, the one that's weak and eat of herbs. And, you know, that, that's a that's a good spiritual insight uh, to go over with this lesson uh, that I'm speaking upon. All right? Uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 16. All right? It says what? Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. <laughs> Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? There you go, man. I, I mean, I don't even need to break that down. It is broken down plainly, man. Okay? Be not overwise. Don't eat all this honey, man. Okay? Well, not don't eat all this honey because, hey, we're going to eat the whole world, which is the honey. But don't eat too much honey at once, man. You'll choke. You'll throw up. Hey, literally, try to drink a whole glass of honey. You're going to fuck yourself up because it's slow, it's thick. You're going to fucking choke. Okay? So, especially for, and like I said, this goes to all brothers, man. There, there, There's a balance in this truth, man. It's a marathon, man. Okay? So, you got to... Hey, you got to go at a steady pace. Still increase. Hey, we're going to increase daily through the faith and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And all things are going to come in good time, man. Long as you are applying yourself, you will get the understanding. All right? The Lord will suck with you, man. All right? Just don't be too hasty to get it. Because a lot of niggas that are too hasty to get it are the niggas that want the vain glory. That want to uh, 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 feel like they somebody. All right, if any man think of himself to uh, know anything, hey, he know what he ought to know, which was given from the Lord. And does any man think of himself to be something, let him know he is nothing, man. All right, because this wisdom, this table, this honey that's given to us is a gift, first and foremost, man. So when you start to eat too much and you start to get proud and puff up and think you just this deep nigga that the Lord's dealing with by himself... That's when your ass start to throw up. And listen, I ain't got to say no names. The examples are very clear. Very clear. All right? So, I, I, I pray that this was edifying. And, hey, trust me, this lesson goes for myself, too. Because I be hot. I want Sometimes I want to go a million miles a second, man. But the older you get in this truth, the better you will understand certain things. All right? The more you eat this honey, the better you will understand how to balance this honey, how to intake this honey, how to apply this honey, okay? So with that, hey, I pray that this was edifying. All praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Wakar Kadash. All right? Double honors to the elder apostles, a great millstone, and salutations to the elect, wherever you may be. Abad Babal.